everyone, welcome back. I have a very fun video today. It's kind of an informative type video, but I have a whole bunch of things that I want to tell you regarding how I pair my makeup with my clothes and vice versa. And But for, before we get into that, I want to start off by explaining a little bit about color draping. Have you ever heard of it? You're probably thinking, oh yeah, I was color draped many years ago. I know my mom was color draped when she used to do Sell Mary Kay and... Many of you may not even know what your undertone is, so I kind of wanted to go over that a little bit. So, if you look at the veins in your wrists, if you have veins that are a little bit more blue, you are going to have a cool undertone. If your veins appear to be a little bit more green, then you're going to have a warm undertone to your skin. Now, I myself am very neutral undertoned, which means my veins are kind of a mixture of both. I have very dark features and I have light eyes. So based on all of that, I am a winter, which means I look good in bright blues, reds, um, blacks, whites, jewel toned things. Um, winters can also wear summer colors. So let me explain to you what a summer color. A summer color, I just want to read it off here so I get it right. Summer colors are pastels and soft neutrals with rose and blue undertones. Um, I have clothes and I'm going to move on into the rest of this video, but I just wanted to explain this to you. Now if you have warm undertones and you have light hair, then you are considered a spring. If you have warm undertones, meaning your, your veins are green, and you have dark hair, and then you are in autumn. If you have cool undertones and your eyes are dark, then you're winter. If you have a cool undertone and your eyes are light, then you're considered a summer. I kind of think about a really fair-skinned, pale, uh, blue-eyed, blonde-haired girl, then you're probably a summer. If you are kind of like me, where you're kind of cool toned, but you have dark hair, then you're definitely a winter. If you have a warm undertone to your skin, a little bit more yellows, and your hair is dark, then you're an autumn. If you have a warm undertone and your eyes and your hair are light, then you're likely a spring. Okay, so let's move on into what summer colors should wear. Summer, um, people with that are a summer should choose pastels and soft neutrals, like I said, with those rose and blue undertones. Colors such as lavender, taupe, powder pink, um, those look great. Black and orange is going to make you look like death. <laughs> um, let's see, summer type should be, it, I'm reading this article, it says you should be daring with lots of accessories. I think you should be daring with accessories no matter what your um, <laughs> undertone is. Fall type should choose warm goldeny colors like if you look outside on a fall day you got those burnt oranges those rich browns um let's see a dark uh, gold um and then spring is going to be warm colors such as camel peach golden yellow and golden brown so that's just a little bit of information so let's move on to into this video so you're probably thinking why did i go over all of that well I wanted to help you know what kind of undertone you are so that you can watch this video and, and take the colors that I wear and adjust them, how I pair my clothes with my makeup and adjust that to your needs because you are going to be different than me. Some of you may be a winter like me and others may be a spring or a summer or fall. So you can adjust how I pair my clothes, um, take this information and adjust it to you. Okay, so how do I pair my makeup? First of all, I literally, when I get ready for the day, sometimes I will wear my makeup around my clothes. Like if there's a certain shirt I want to wear, then I will do my makeup around that. Um, if there's a certain makeup look I want to wear, then I will adjust my clothes around it. I like to wear colors of clothes that are flattering on me first. And then I bring it up to my makeup. I want my makeup to be flattering on me. So um, I kind of wanted to go over four different categories of lipsticks that I wear and how I pair that with my clothes. So today I have a nude lip on and this is a very nude lip. I paired it with, for the sake of this video, a very neutral eye and I think a neutral eye looks great. You can wear, change out your lipstick and change out your shirt really easily if you just have an overall neutral makeup look. So today I am wearing Max Hue and this is probably the most nude lip I have ever worn or will ever wear. Um, it does still have a little bit of a peachness, so it has a little bit of warmth to it. 
when I wear a really, really pale lip like this, um, I want to make sure that my clothes are flattering because otherwise I can look really dead. If I wear a color that's not flattering on my body um, and I pair it with a very nude lip, it can tend to make you look very washed out and just a little lackluster. So, if I'm going to wear a nude lip like this, I like to either wear a very rich color on my body, such as a blue. Because a blue, can you see the difference that just made? Black is, I mean, black is a staple, but for some people it's a little bit too harsh. If you cannot wear black, meaning um, you are a, an autumn or a spring and it's just really harsh on you, I would recommend a rich chocolate. Um, but pairing a very nude lip with a color that looks good on you is going to completely and utterly change your entire face. It's going to brighten up your complexion. It's just going to be an overall very flattering look. So a couple other nude lipsticks that are my favorites that I like to wear is um, Cream Cup by MAC. This one's going to have a little bit more pink to it, less peach. Um, and then my all-time favorite, which has a lot more peach to it, is Kind of Sexy by MAC. This is going to be more of a matte it is a matte finish, almost like a satin though. See how much more, much more color that adds to, um, I'm going to put it on my lips actually, to show you how much more color this is going to add to my okay, face. So, the moral of the story is, if you're going to wear a nude, make sure to wear some sort of flattering color on your body. Um, this is a darker nude. I can pull this off a little bit better with a dark color on my body, even though it's a very harsh color to wear black. Um, if you're going to do a nude with a little bit more color, this is going to pair better than a lighter nude with just the black. So, this is MAC's Kind of Sexy, and I'm really digging it. The next category of lipstick is pink. And pink is a very bright, cheery, fun color. And so, I like to wear pinks with some sort of bright, cheery, fun color on my body. I find that pink really pops, um, either with a really pretty blue shirt, um, some sort of color that is really, like, I like to wear colors kind of based on the season too. So this is a definite winter color, but if it's, if it's fall time and you're like, oh, I really just want to wear a pink lipstick, then I would pair it with like maybe a pink shirt or like a rosy toned shirt, like a more subdued version of what's on trend just to kind of play off of the pink. But I really like to wear pink with white because I feel like wearing a pink lipstick with a white shirt, it's clean, it's refreshing, it's just, it's, it's just really crisp. And I find that the pink just really pops when I'm wearing a lighter color on my body versus a darker color. Yes, it still pops against the dark color, but I like to wear um, a little bit more summery and springy type of color when I wear pink. I just find that it's very complimentary to my skin tone. And so I wanted to put on this YSL pink lipstick for you because I love it. It's creamy. It's, it's wonderful. And show you, it looks okay with black, but it really pops when you wear a similar cool toned undertone on your body. It just really complements the lipstick. There truly is a difference when you wear similar undertones, complementary colors on your lips as well as on your body. Um, I have worn this shirt with a bright pink in many videos and I always get compliments on myself or on my makeup when I wear complementary colors and I know the secret. I know the secret is because I'm accenting my makeup with my clothes. Um, I could just wear a black shirt every single time and you would really have to focus on my makeup. But you really focus on the whole image when you put something on that is just absolutely making you stand out, not necessarily your makeup. This color is called Fruit Punch and it's by Milani. It's very, very pretty. Um, a little bit bolder of a color that's really fun to wear is Rose Hip by Milani and I will give this a little swatch. It's a very bold, beautiful, bright pink. Now, this color, you can see it, it kind of pops against the black, but it doesn't pop as much as it does when you're wearing white or when you're wearing some sort of brighter blue. It just really, really pops. And I'm just checking my monitor to make sure that I'm in focus. And the last pink that I have that I really like to wear is by YSL. It's number eight. It is called Fetish Pink. 
very, very creamy. It's similar to what I have on here, but a little bit cooler toned. Fruit Punch is definitely more warm toned. Um, and then this, as you can see the difference, this is much more cooler toned. It has that cool base. This next category of colors is, it's right on trend, but it's also always on trend. It's kind of the your lips but better category, like those mauve brownish, rosy type shades. Shades that are going to look good on absolutely everybody, no matter what skin color or undertone that you are. Now, I love to wear a Your Lips But Better color with a similar type of shade on my body. I really love a good burgundy color. I find that a shirt this color, when you put it up to your, your body with the Your Lips But Better color, it's just really complimentary. So, what I want to say about this category is that a Your Lips But Better color is exactly what it is. Look in the mirror. What shade are your lips naturally? And then go a shade lighter or a shade darker and it's going to be incredibly complimentary on your skin tone because it's the color of your lips but enhanced. Now some of these are going to be a little bit darker on someone who doesn't have as much pigment as I do. I have a lot of natural red pigment to my lips so some colors will pull more red or it won't pop on me as much. Um, but the mauve type shades that I've been really loving and I think will look great on everybody is um, this is the Maybelline Creamy Matte shade in the cu color Touch of Spice. I am wearing this on my lips right now. It's beautiful. Um, this type of color, like I just stated, I really like to wear with a really pretty burgundy. I know it's kind of matchy-matchy, but it's so pretty and it's so complimentary. Um, if you are a spring, wear this color with like a really warm, goldeny, almost mustardy type shirt. It's going to look so pretty on you. If you're a winter like me, dig out that burgundy shirt. Um, springs and autumns can interchange colors in falls and or winters and summers can interchange colors. So if you're a summer, you can wear those winter shades. If you're a spring, you can wear those autumn shades. They're kind of interchangeable. Um, so that gives you a little bit more options with things that look good on you. So if you're going to wear a color that your lips look better, it's going to be complimentary. Wear a color on your body that's going to be a very complimentary color. Um, so that's what I wanted to say about that. And the other color that I think is going to look great on a lot of people um, is the Bite Beauty Rhubarb Pencil. I was wearing this earlier and it's, it's really similar to the Maybelline Touch of Spice, but actually it's really similar. But it's going to have a different finish. This is a little bit more, it's not going to be as long lasting, whereas the Maybelline one is a matte, so it's going to be much more long lasting. This one's just slightly a little bit more opaque. Both very beautiful colors. And another one I like to wear, which is going to lean a little bit more cooler, is the Maybelline Warm Me Up. Another beautiful everyday type of shade that's right there. So all three of these are going to be those colors that are going to look great on everybody. They're just, they're going to be the most naturally flattering because they're not too bold. They're not too much of a, uh, a dig digression away from what you are, were naturally born with. And the last category of lipsticks is that, for some people, dreaded red category. But you know what? Everybody can wear a red lipstick. It's just a matter of finding one that is going to be complementary to your undertone. I'm a neutral undertone, and so I can wear either the blue-based cool undertone reds or the warmer-based um, orange, orangier reds. This is an undertone of warmth. This is an orange undertone red. It's by Tarte, and it's called Fierce. I love these lipsticks. They're the Glamazon lipsticks. I'm not sure if they're still available or not. I haven't seen them at Sephora, so I'm not sure if they're reformulating them or what. Um, but I like to wear both. Now... I would recommend, and this is from my personal experience, if you have a very warm undertone, um, I mean my girl Mal Mallory, she, she has a very warm undertone and she rocks these, these orange, orange based reds beautifully and she can wear the red, red blue tone based ones. I think it's just a matter of personal preference. I think, I think you can wear both really. Um, I had one client that she had a very warm undertone and I put the blue based red on her and her, she was just glowing. It was an absolutely beautiful. She had chocolate brown eyes, very warm undertone, and I put this, this uh, 
bluer based, cooler toned red on her, and it just, it was a very nice complimentary look. Um, now as far as my body, whenever I wear red, I find it really pops against a lot of things. But, I love it with blue. I love to wear the opposite color on the color wheel on my body when I'm going to have a very busy face or where I'm going to have a very loud lip. I like to really make that contrast by putting on the blue. It gets a little bit patriotic, but it's very pretty. I mean, it definitely pops against black. You notice your lips. It pops against white. I mean, you notice your lips. But when you pop it against the opposite color on that color wheel, it is just, you just stand out. Now, if you're afraid to stand out, first of all, put your shoulders up. And don't be afraid to stand out. Um, but second of all, just... You know, you, could, you can get in your comfort zone, but I always encourage people, get out of their comfort zone. Just try it. Try it and see how many compliments you get in one day. Because when you wear colors that look good on you, and you wear makeup that looks good on you, you shine. You, do, you really do. Your features stand out. You just, you're just glowing, even if you don't intend to. So, that would be my recommendation to you. Um, I love both of these lipsticks. Um, another favorite of mine is Max Red. Um, any sort of blue-based reds I'm really attracted to, but I'm finding more and more that these warmer reds, orangier based reds, are so pretty, so flattering. And if you watch any red carpet show, they've been wearing these, these warmer ones. So, the last thing I wanted to talk about quickly was how I do my makeup when I want to wear, say, a colorful patterned scarf or a colorful patterned shirt. Now this can get a little bit busy. So what I like to do is I like to first of all keep my base solid if I'm gonna do a scarf, like a patterned one. Second of all, if I'm going to do a very busy shirt, then I try to keep my makeup simple and choose one area to focus on. If I'm going to do like a busy scarf like this, I'm gonna do a neutral eye and I'm gonna pop it with like, this is, there's orange in here, so I guess I would wear it with an orange-based red. Or, I would wear this scarf with a bright pink and pull the pink out of the scarf. Or, if you don't want to focus on your lips and you're more of an eye type of girl, then I would choose a colored eyeliner. So, uh, this particular scarf has a very pretty green in it. So, I would, on my lower lash line, take a colored eyeliner and just, you know, smudge it out underneath. And that's going to add some interest. Um, so I like to accent my colored things that I'm wearing with some sort of accent on my face. So I hope you guys found this informative and very helpful. If you enjoyed this, please give this video a thumbs up and share it. Um, tell your friends and let me know down below so that I know to continue doing this type of thing. I'm really trying hard to put out original thoughts and videos, things that will be helpful to you. I know now that I've been working more on the weekends, I'm getting a lot of requests from women just coming in and 9 out of 10 of them don't know how to pair makeup or don't know how to um, put colors together on their face. Like they see it in the pan and they're just completely and utterly overwhelmed. And I know because I was that woman at one point, but I have learned a lot from just trial and error and screwing up and wearing things that don't go together. And so. I wanted to somehow get this message across to you. I hope it came across clear and not super muddy. I know when I go to edit this, I just, I'm going to try to put it together and help you guys so that you know, like we recommend, you watch YouTube, you watch your favorite gurus and they're recommending all these products to try and you go out and buy them and you're like, it doesn't look good on me. Well, you have to consider your undertone and you have to consider what looks good on you. You can take what they, like I can recommend these pinks to you and then you find the pink that looks good on you based on your undertone. So I gave you a little bit on the warm and cool category. I hope that this was helpful. And so I think that's all that I have to share today. Stay tuned if you like this blush. No, if you like this pairings idea, I'm gonna continue to do this with the different seasons and just with whatever inspiration that I have and so I'm going to stop blabbing now. I hope you guys have a fabulous day, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.